Hello. Welcome to the video. Today we will be starting a new series which will consist of the American uniforms and equipment used in the Panama invasion. This will be only a two-part series as there is less to cover than the Soviet-Afghan war. Let's get into the video. Starting off, we have the M81 BDU or Battle Dress Uniform. The BDU is one of the most iconic American uniforms of the 20th century. Printed in the woodland pattern, it featured four spacious pockets on the chest. The pants also featured four decently sized pockets. The uniform was evolved from the earlier Vietnam era third pattern jungle fatigues. The pattern, Woodland, was an evolution of the ERDL pattern which saw use in Vietnam. The soldier's name was sewn above the right side pocket and their branch was sewn above the left pocket. On the collar, certain devices may have been sewn, such as engineer or intelligence. Unit patches were sewn on the left shoulder. Most patches were subdued as opposed to the full-color patches. The BDU is still produced and is used by many countries. As for woodland itself, it is a popular pattern with civilians and the Russian military sometimes uses an identical copy. One of the boots worn was the jungle boot as seen on the right. Standard black combat boots could also be seen in use. For headwear, we have the standard woodland patrol cap which had similar looks to a baseball cap. Boonie hats may have been worn in Panama, although I am not 100% positive, so keep that in mind. Rank was occasionally worn on both the patrol and boonie hats. Moving on, we have the equipment used. The main load was the Alice, which is the acronym for All Purpose Lightweight Individual Carrying Equipment. The main load consisted of Y straps, two M16 pouches, LC2 belt, a first aid slash compass pouch, and two LC2 canteens with covers. All pieces of the Alice system were made from nylon. The Y straps could also have ATL-122 flashlight or other Alice system piece attached to one of the two metal clips below the front of the arm. The M16 pouches could hold three 30-round magazines and two grenades. The belt was compatible with the old M1910 hanger system. Alice itself was an evolution of the late Vietnam-era M1967 webbing system. Something that may have been in use but I cannot confirm was the Vietnam-era M1956 slash M1961 butt pack. The spacious yet bulky Alice rucksack could also be seen in use. Special pouches for machine gunners were used as pictured. The M12 holster held the M9 pistol. Grenadiers wore a special vest that replaced the Y straps to hold 40mm grenades. Some infantrymen wore the Pasket vest which provided protection from shrapnel and possibly some pistol rounds. Paired with the vest was the Pasgat helmet. The helmet was a Kevlar helmet that provided protection against shrapnel. It was worn with the woodland cover and helmet band. The 7th Infantry Division famously wore the helmet with a homemade camouflage device known as Manchu hair. The Pasgat helmet replaced the older World War II style M1 helmet in the early 80s. An honorable mention for equipment is the USM-17 gas mask. Some soldiers used the bag as storage without the mask. The mask itself was an internal cheek filter mask made out of a black rubber. The mask provided protection from chemical, biological, and some nuclear toxins. The biggest flaw in the mask was the internal cheek filter design. This prevented filters from being changed easily. With this design, soldiers had to take the entire mask off to swap the filters out. If you plan on buying this mask, do take note that the filter does contain chromium, but it should not be a hazard unless the filter is damaged. With that being said, this concludes the video. As always, if you have corrections to add, please let me know, and I will add them to the pinned comment. Take care everyone and stay tuned for the next video.